Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to Rickety Sprint. I think that is a pun of a certain well known phrase known as Lickety Split. Maybe. So let's reach the goal in 75 seconds or less. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, this is the one that I had to face off against Nabbit on. Hmm. So I should be able to run through this stage fairly decently, I think. As long as the piranha plants are working in my favor. Here's where Nabbit got stuck and where I took over. Because he was, had no chance of getting past that... Oh god, Lakitu. He had no chance of getting past that spot in time. When Lakitu's around, you kind of do actually want to take the lower route. So, maybe down isn't death all the time. <laughs> oh! I slipped off the edge. Oh, I was doing so well. Or maybe I wasn't doing well. Maybe there was more to the stage than I thought. So I don't know. But yeah, there definitely is an absence of power-ups. Because you'll know... I mean, you've noticed that I've hit blocks along the way. And they haven't spewed any power-ups. Which is probably a part of the challenge here. Is to get through these suckers without power-ups and whatnot. Doing risky stuff for the gold. You get the idea. Whee! Oh! Yeah, whenever Lakitu is around, try and stay low if at all possible. Although, Lakitu in speedruns, he is the random factor. <laughs> random stuff in speedruns are a speedrunner's... Oopsie. The speedrunner's bane of existence, because you have to hope for things to go just right <laughs> and that that sometimes doesn't go that way when something is random and you know your normal jump which would usually work might not work on some runs because there's something something there that would normally not be there because of the random factor all right it's 75 seconds i gotta piece myself a little more here it's only 75 i mean it's a whopping 75 seconds so just slow down when I need to. I got a nice wide screen, 480p screen here going on. I can see far ahead of me, so I don't have to worry about not being able to react in time. Just keep that run button held down. Relax. Watch the Koopas dance. <laughs> oh! oh! That's not too bad of a way to get through that portion that... I took the extreme low route there, god! <laughs> That's why I don't like random factor! Oh! <laughs> Surprise attack by fuzzies! I couldn't have reacted to that one in time. Well, maybe I could have, but... Uh, I don't know. That was a little extreme. <laughs> Come on, PK Gam! You can make it! You have plenty of time. Oh, jeez. Well, now I probably don't have plenty of time. Can I scooch through here? Oh, yeah. That saved a little time on my run. A little bit. A little bit helps. Oh. Do not stop for anyone. Oh. Oh. Is this possible to do fast? <laughs> Cause that's that part seem that part there seems like it's more of a part that you would have to slow down on, but I'm sure they wouldn't make it in a way that you couldn't do it fast. Nintendo's pretty savvy with their level design in that it seems tailored for both the ugh, for both the professional speedrunners as well as the classic, uh, I mean, pr regular old player who just tackles every challenge carefully and whatnot. I suppose speedrunning does have its careful moments where you have to thread the needle, but I mean, you know, you still have to do it in a quick way, and that takes a lot of practice, and Nintendo definitely aims for that kind of player as well, because I'm sure they know about all the uh, um, speedrunners out there of Nintendo games. I mean, come on, look at all the videos out there. They could It's impossible for them not to be aware. <laughs> Just think about it, man. Think about it. Oh, man. And Lakitu there, 
He wasn't even aiming. He wasn't even trying. <laughs> Alright. Wait for it. I can't wait too long. No! I knew those fuzzies were there, but the platforms, they sucked themselves in a little bit quicker than I expected, and da! Da, da, and da! <laughs> At least these runs don't take that long to redo. Because they're only like a minute in length. Because you're forced to do them within a, like a minute in length. Just by the sheer design of them. Go down, there we go. But wow, if you are really running through the stage and trying to get between those prana plants, that's a really tight jump. <laughs> like really, really tight. One square of room. I jumped too high. <laughs> One square of room for regular Mario to scooch himself between them. Alright, so difficulty has definitely increased for these time trial stages. But I but rest assured, I will complete them all! Hopefully. <laughs> oh. See, this one, that one would be really hard to get past. And it was really hard to get past, but I did, did that once. Because of the way that they're timed, they, they come out when you... Uh, when they show on the edge of the screen. Basically, so they're automatically timed to be in your way if you're running through the stage haphazard like oh god <laughs> Oh god Okay Keep up the pacing good No, that's badly timed fuzzy Yes Yes ah. <laughs> Man how much more stage is there to go on that one? Well, it's a four-star stage, so... I guess this is the power of a four-star stage. <laughs> oh, and I also noticed I'm in uh, Sky World now, so maybe I am almost finished with all these time trial stages. Uh, scooch, yes! I just gotta increase my pacing and try and figure out that spot, like how to get past it in the most efficient and fast way possible. Uh, that- Oh, I didn't anticipate the song making them hop a little bit. Curse you, song, and making the enemies dance. <laughs> that is the power of music. The power of music cannot be underestimated. I was gonna say tolerated. I don't know why I was gonna say tolerated, but that was totally not the wrong- I mean, that was totally the wrong word to use. <laughs> Couldn't scooch between them that time. Whew. Whew. This is probably going to be the last part I'm making. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty beat now after all these defeats. <laughs> these challenges are definitely pretty challenging to get by. And you can't wait all the time. You gotta thread the needle at spots in order to make it to the end, that's for sure. I wonder if there's a way to... flip-flop myself in, like on those last platforms, like under fuzzies, like something like that. Except, oh! That was too close. Too close for comfort. But I mean, if I were to fl flip myself between the fuzzy and the platform with a really, really low jump, would that be something that I could do, is the question. Because that, ugh, that would greatly save me time, but there's still the, the possibility of Lakitu getting in the way, along with the uh, mushrooms shrinking and growing, that provides quite an interesting gauntlet to get through. Because you have to be reckless, but not too reckless to get past it, obviously. Ah, why would plant lips hurt? Plant lips don't hurt. <laughs> oh boy. Come on. Focus, PK Gam. You can do it. Leave in the hearts of the platformer. Oh! So wait for them. Okay, that's good. Dang platform stalling me like it did Nabbit. I know the feeling now, Nabbit. I know the feeling. 
And scooch here. Okay, I should be able to do that. Then... I don't know what to do there! <laughs> I can't wait around too long. Because it's I only got 75 seconds and this stage is pretty long. <laughs> Come on. I must figure out that spot. It kind of makes me wonder if I should like do this stage in the story mode or something and like figure out that spot like after hitting the midpoint and then take it to the time trial here but I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh god. <laughs> to a point. Now here this is what I think I might have to do is like that and then all the way over here I don't think it's possible to... Oh! <laughs> so stressful! Okay, just keep going, keep going. Keep going, yes! Yes! <laughs> you know, a, a couple of people say to me like, how many times... I mean, I, I, they say, oh man, I tried so many times to get through some of these stages, but I just couldn't do it. Could you make a video on how to do this sort of thing and stuff like that? And I, and I ask sometimes, well, how many times do you try? And, there, and a lot of them are like, well, like three or to five times they say or something like that. And just, you've seen how many times I tried the stage until I got it. That right there is proof that if you keep trying something, you will eventually get the hang of it. All right, so now I gotta get through this stage without collecting a single coin. Oh, jeez. I thought I could run under those coins. <laughs> All right, 70 seconds or less without getting richer. <laughs> All right, and they, they put these coin blocks, I mean, angel blocks. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> that was mean. I didn't think I would pop up that high, but that was the trap. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this, then do that. And get over the coin blocks rather than go under them. If at all possible, there we go, that's more successful. Alright, I'm gonna have to focus on that technique. Then oh god! <laughs> I didn't know how high that thing was gonna go. Oh no! Please die, go down. Ugh. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Coins are my worst enemy in this walkthrough. Oh god! <laughs> Let me up without hitting the underside of a box. No! Oh, these. <laughs> Good lord! Actually, coins have been, I should say money, has been a big problem in walkthroughs lately. Like I had. No, no, no! I had Twilight Princess with my wallet kept being full. <laughs> I've had coins falling on platforms which overload their weight limit in this game. And now I've got, you can't collect the coin, or, oh jeez, <laughs> or you die. I jumped a little too high there. No cash dash. Jeez. Ugh. And the, the coins are so well placed. <laughs> like, they wouldn't be too hard to avoid if you were not doing a speedrun of this. But since you are doing a speedrun of this, you know, you, that you have to get to the end of the stage in time, you don't have the time to precisely angle <laughs> your jumps away from the coins. And that's, that's kind of the trick here. That, and that's what I mean about this game having really well designed, is that they put thought into something like this in the overall design of the level when they, when they had these challenge stages in mind. And that, my friend, is excellent game design. Alright. So I know how to do this part pretty decently. Just gotta do that. But now I gotta figure out the rest. Maybe because I'm... Oh, I'm doing it fast enough, I have enough time to pace myself with this last portion. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> ah. Go, oh, jeez. I'll take the lower route if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no, oh god. Those coins, they're right in my jump height. Alright, I made it. And with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next part. Oh, and I just noticed that the style of stage doesn't indicate how far I'm into these challenge stages because I noticed that they're they're now shifting between sky to desert to water and whatnot. So yeah, I guess once I reach the last stage, I've reached the last stage and that'll be it. And I don't know how many more there is to unlock as a result. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part.